They gathered at the school tonight, a community divided. The majority angry at what they consider to be an unnecessary fuss. Others, like Terry Goddard, running late for the meeting, desperate for guarantees that his son Paul will have nothing to fear if he goes back to school. Parents heard words of reassurance from leading aid specialist Dr. Anthony Pinching. Uh, we'll just talk over the facts. It'll be a private meeting discussing private matters, and I hope we can resolve the situation. I understand their concerns, but I think we have to get the facts straight. You are a parent. Would you be happy for your child to be in the same class as this boy? I certainly would. I thought about it carefully, and I certainly would, and I care very much for my child. The parents of the haemophiliac boy did not attend the meeting, deciding their absence would allow freer discussion. And discussion there certainly was, but Mr. Goddard emerged during a break to say he was still unhappy. As I'm concerned, that in their voice there is still is an element of risk, and I'm not prepared to take that risk. He has not convinced me that my child is not at risk from the school. So your boy stays He's away talking from about school. one in a thousand, one in two thousand, one in three thousand, that this from a haemophiliac can possibly develop into AIDS, and I am not convinced. And at the moment, my decision is not changed I will still keep my lad away from the school. Do you think your decision from the feeling in there is ch shared by the other people who've kept their children away? Uh, I think it's basically the same yes I don't think many decisions will be changed at all. Mr Goddard's opinion is of course only one opinion but if the other 45 people who kept their children away from school here today feel the same Hampshire Education Authority have a big problem and their counterparts in other authorities throughout the country will be watching closely to see how they manage to solve it. Vernon Mann, News at 10, Chandler's Ford, Hampshire. The authorities' decision not to tell the other parents of the school about this latest case is bound to spark off much debate. Officials here say the boy does not have a notifiable disease and doesn't have a disease as such at all. So they say they have no right and indeed no duty to pass on information of such a personal and private nature. But don't other parents have rights too? The right to know, for example. There is no indication uh, of any possibility of contact with children in school at this point in time. And of course, we are still dealing with a matter which carries uh, confidentiality and we must maintain our good relations with the parents of any children involved in this way. At Chandler's Ford, more children went back to school and the parents of the other haemophiliac boy with AIDS antibodies in his blood said they understood other parents' fears but could offer no guarantees. It's a risk involved in everything and they want someone to come along and say, no, there isn't a risk. Unfortunately, we can't do that. All we, we, can, we would be telling others. That's right. All we can do is take sensible precautions, which is what we were concerned should happen, and those precautions have been taken. So therefore, we have removed as much risk as is possible. So their son, Peter, will stay at school, and parents who don't like it will just have to move their children elsewhere. And there were calls today for national guidelines to help authorities deal with such situations. Vernon Mann, ITN, Chandler's Ford, Hampshire. Vernon Mann, News at 10, Chandler's Ford, Hampshire. Headmaster Nigel Morse arrived early this morning, aware of the difficult day ahead, wondering how many more parents would keep their children away. In the event, 46 were absent, a few less than yesterday, but still a quarter of the school population. The community is split. Those parents who are sending their children to school growing irate at the attention being focused on them and angry at those keeping their children away. Go and find the ones that aren't sending them to school. They're the ones that are news, not us lot that are supporting them. There are always going to be, to say, a certain hysterical animal who don't want to listen to reason and are therefore not going to send their children, but that's their property if they wish to send them to school school. But what about the boy himself? How is he coping? John Slade is the area education officer. Um, so far as we're aware, the boy is behaving very well indeed. Of course, in that respect, one has to realise that as a haemophiliac, he's already been in uh, that semi-isolated position, being unable to engage in all activities uh, which other children would participate in. One of Britain's leading AIDS experts has been called in to address concerned parents at a meeting at the school tonight. At tonight's meeting, education authorities hope to convince those parents who are keeping their children away from school that they really do have nothing to fear, and they hope that all the children will be back here tomorrow. But if they fail to convince them, they'll have to give more serious consideration to the long-term future of the unfortunate boy in question. Vernon Mann, News at 1, Chandler's Ford, Hampshire.